Now, there are currently nine different versions of these bad boys on Britain's roads at the moment, and they are, in fact, quite clever pieces of kit. They exist for one reason, and that is apparently for our safety. There are around 6,000 cameras littered around the country, and every now and again, you might miss one, which is why a speed camera detector could come in handy. They are completely legal, but are they any good? I'm going to test three of the latest, starting with the cheapest. Right, this little giblet on the dashboard, teeny-weeny thing, is called the Novus Piccolo. No screens, none of that fancy nonsense, it just has tiny, weeny little LEDs, but mainly, it speaks to you. So let's spark it up. Hello, system active. The Piccolo uses GPS, just like a sat-nav system, to tell where it is. It then compares its position with a database of known camera locations to warn you if one's coming up. Now, my spider senses tell me there is a police cash machine just up here. Sorry, a Gatso just up here on the left. Let's find out whether the Piccolo knows it's there. Warning. Speed camera 500 yards ahead. Limit Ooh. 30 miles per hour. OK. Attention. Reduce speed. Yes. It works. So, all well and good, but a potential problem with the Piccolo is that the camera location database is only updated every two to four weeks. With specs cameras springing up at temporary roadworks left, right and centre, vital information could well be missing. That thing, the Piccolo, is just sitting there, quiet. Come on. However, this device might just solve the problem. It's called the Road Angel Professional connected and it uses a system called GPRS all the information from Road Angel HQ about the locations of new speed cameras gets zapped to the device every two minutes and it knows the locations of the new ones also built into is a system where if you spot a speed camera and you want to tell other Road Angel users beep press a button and that information is sent to them which is great and incidentally it does know about these specs cameras so as far as I'm concerned it's working for me Thanks to the Road Angel's constant updates, it was spotting all the fixed camera positions. But could it detect the mobile speed cameras? Right now, somewhere down here, we have hidden a man with a handheld speed camera, the same sort of one that the police use. Will the Road Angel spot it? There he is. And the answer to that is no. I mean, how could it? We haven't told it it was there. They say you get what you pay for, so for my final choice, I've gone for the Rolls-Royce of camera detectors, the most expensive of its kind in the world, the £1,500 Stinger DSi. It comes with a Spectrum Analyzer, the same kind of technology found in fighter jets. How cool is that? The radar is set to 20. He's miles down the road and already it's telling me to slow down. He keeps trying to get my speed. And it works. That's pretty cool. Of the products I tested, the Stinger's ability to warn you of everything stunned me. Obviously, you pay for the privilege, and because it's so effective, don't be surprised if one day it's outlawed. Second place would go to the Road Angel, with its ability to share fresh information at the touch of a button. But if you're on a budget, then the Piccolo offers you good value for money. Just remember to update it as often as you can.